What's up everybody, it's Chad with Charleston Car Videos. We back with you again. We're talking about the 2020 Chevy Silverado HD. So this is bumping up from past the 1500 series trucks, okay? We're going to 2500 series, 35, 45, 5500 series trucks. So this is the big boy. The ones that are going to get the job done at the end of the day when you're out there on a the job site. So, you know, trucks though, they seem to be getting kind of where it's not all about getting the job done, right? It seems like it's all about luxury. Well, that's fine because let me tell you folks, even those guys and gals out there that are getting the job done on the work site, when they get in that truck at the end of the day or on their lunch break or even if when they're hauling stuff around moving through the town, they want something nice to drive. And guess what? As Americans, we deserve to have something nice to drive. We put a lot of hard work in every day. So with that being said, let's take a look at the interior of the 2500 series. So thank you again to MotorOne.com for going to Las Vegas and getting some interior spy shots as they say. Let's take a look. So as you can see on the screen right now, getting right into it. The 2020 Chevy Silverado HD's cabin spy for the first time. Well, let me tell you folks, Chevrolet, just like Ford, you know, they're going to make their interiors pretty similar across the entire platform. So whether you're getting a 2500 series truck, a 1500 series, you know, a Ford F-150, a Ford F-350 or 250, you know, whatever's going on, they're going to be molding and making the dashes and everything as similar as possible. Now, currently, right now, all I've seen that I've put my own two eyes and hands on and touching and feeling and smelling and everything else is a 1500 series LT Silverado 2019 and a red RST that sold the day after I filmed it. So, with that being said, I wasn't really the biggest fan of the interior on the 1500 series on the ones I saw because I'm so used to on the Fords having that nice big center console and all that in there. And we're not getting that as much on the 1500 series that we got at the store right now. Now, I'm assuming when you start getting into higher trim levels, maybe a uh, you know, a LTZ or maybe a Premier or whatever it is, maybe Chevrolet's bringing a console in there, right? A nice spot to kind of rest your arms on and everything to kind of wrap through. But anyways, with what Chevrolet has offered that I've seen so far in the two trucks that I've filmed here on this channel, it is still nice. It's a nice uh, center seat there. And I like how the seat kind of pops up and it's got a little storage spot in there and, and all that. So it's, it's still nice, not a problem. But some people don't care to have the center seat and they probably would like to have a nice big center console. Like we saw on a video not too long ago, I watched a video last night of the new 2019 GMC Sierra Denali. Ooh -wee. Boy, that's luxurious on the outside and definitely on the inside. But anyways, I think that's what you're gonna see in this right here. So let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look, all right? Because this is what it's all about. So what you're gonna see on these pictures here is the interior, as we're looking, looks very similar to what we have now, but you're getting a center console kind of added in there. So that looks really nice. I've always, I've always liked how Chevrolet kind of makes all the colors match up and everything flows. They're finally using real wood inside the vehicle, supposedly, from what I've heard, real wood. Um, for something though, here's the only thing I've thought about with wood, wood trim inside of a vehicle. The only auto manufacturer that I've seen lately, I, I looked at a Lexus a few days ago, an older 2005 Lexus LS430 and it had wood trim in it, real wood. And I was like, that really looks like real wood. I mean, when you look at it, you're like, that looks like wood. But cars nowadays, like even on these Silverados, it doesn't look like real wood, but they say it is, you know, but it's just the colors and the, maybe just the way it looks just doesn't seem to be real. Anyways, let's just get on past that, right? I mean, not everybody's so interested in, in the wood trim inside their vehicle. You know, one thing that I like on the Silverado right now in the 1500 series on the cloth seats is right there on the little uh, outsides on their side bolsters there, it's got a little denim kind of feel and look to that seat right there. So again, denim, as in like, you know, denim jeans, like Wrangler jeans. Um, I've always wondered why truck manufacturers don't put actual like a jean type interior. Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, they got every other kind of interior you can think of, suede, Napa leather, you know, all this stuff. But what about jeans? I mean, just think about it for a minute. I mean, don't you kind of visualize, you know, a guy getting in a truck wearing a pair of nice jeans and maybe some boots and, you know, this, that, and the other? Yeah, you do. So I don't know why they don't actually put jean inside of a vehicle. Maybe because it stains or maybe, you know, 
I don't know, maybe the colors will, you know, wear off onto your pants or shirt or something like that. I really don't know. I'd love for someone to answer that though. And let me know if you've ever seen a vehicle that has jean material on the inside that was by the manufacturer, not something done for like a car show or something like that. But anyways, it says the new Silverado HD appears to take major cues from the latest generation Silverado 1500 pickup. Duh. Their center stacks are very similar by using a large screen on top with vents flanking the display. The knobs for the infotainment system sit directly underneath the uh, underneath it. HVAC controls and an array of additional buttons are at the at the very bottom of the tower. The multi-function steering wheel looks the same too. Again, like I said, I mean, motor one. They got to put it on paper. I mean, or on the screen here, you know. I mean, it's pretty much like I said in the beginning of the video. They're taking. I mean, the manufacturers when they're building these trucks. I mean, they have to be cost efficient, and um, you know they can't make every single Silverado truck have a whole different type of interior. So you know, production wise, that's what's going to help keep costs down, so the truck prices don't freaking go out the roof. But a lot of y'all have been saying the same thing that I've been hearing all over the internet is that the prices of trucks have just gone up huge i mean it's huge the amount of money that you will pay to drive and own a brand new 2018 or 2019 truck i mean the price of trucks have just gone up i mean a regular cab work truck whether it's a ford a chevy um, gmc you're talking 30 plus thousand dollars for a white steel wheel regular cab truck i mean so we're talking 30 grand for a truck nowadays you know the days of buying a truck that's 20 plus thousand bucks you know at the dealership brand new are done now if you want a car that's less than 20 grand 17 thousand bucks you got to go buy your kia forte you can't have your truck so there's just not a truck out there jeep's coming out with the scrambler in 2020 i believe and that's not even a truck that's going to match up with this kind of stuff they say that right there the jeep scrambler pickup truck is supposed to compete with the colorado and the ford ranger and heck we don't even have a ford ranger yet uh, we got a Colorado, of course, but the Ford Ranger, we still waiting on the Ford dealership right now to, to get us a Ford Ranger. So Ford, come on, man, bring us a Ford Ranger. Why is it you haven't done that yet? I really want to know. We haven't seen it. I want to see it. I mean, supposedly there was one riding around Charleston here not too long ago, a Ford Ranger. Somebody spotted it at the grocery store, and then I jumped in my car trying to get down there to find it, but it was gone. The interior looks a little bit better than what we got going on currently in the 1500 on these bigger trucks and why is that because yes we got a center console in here that just gives it a nicer look that's all i really like a lot of the interior you know features on the new silverado though like i said earlier i like that little gully area that little spot up under the center seat there in the front where you can pull it up there and you just gotta get some storage underneath I like the fact on the back of the RST that I filmed, it's got those little openings there. You can, the little doors you can open up in the back and fit something back in there. So that's kind of nice. So there's a lot of nice little um, little things about the new the new uh, 1500 ser series Silverado. I'm kind of blown away by reading some of the comments though on my videos. I mean, just so much negativity towards the new Silverado. I mean, don't you like a sportier looking truck? Something that's different, that doesn't look like all the rest, right? I would, you would think that's what you're looking for. So, like I said in my reaction video to the 1500 series Silverado, it's gonna take some time to get used to. It's like a new facelift, right? You got that new facelift. It's stretched and tight and pulled back on your face, right? That new facelift, it's gonna take some time for it to kind of give back in and kind of loosen up a little bit. And then you go, six months later, that facelift looks pretty good. Now, Joan Rivers, her facelift stayed the same for a for years but anyways after a while it starts to kind of give way and you get used to it so anyways have a great day everybody thanks for watching the video we got a hurricane coming within about 24 hours hurricane florence is going to be hitting land here in south carolina north carolina within the next 24 hours so with that being said i don't know how much time i'm going to have left to upload videos so we're moving fast to get them done we'll see you soon like comment and subscribe and let me know what you thought about this new video type series that we're doing on the channel with these little podcasts and news related videos i appreciate your time we'll see you soon